The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello, YouTube. Well, got some more information for you. More disturbing. Very disturbing. More information. Places that you can go and look up. Uh, I'm going to put all the links in the bottom in the description below. I'm going to post it as many places that I can post it. And I hope y'all do the same. Um, we got 300, 307 million people in this country. And I hope that this particular video hits every one of them that's on YouTube. I don't know how many that is. I tried to look it up. And it only gives me percentages someone else may be able to know. And if you do, post it in the bottom if you can find the, the link. Um, I, didn't, I didn't find it. But, um, folks, we're in deep problems. We, we've got deep, deep, deep problems going on with this bill. Um, we need to get this information out to everybody. I have been harping on it for since this started. And I'm sorry, that's all I'm, I'm covering right now. But I'm not just doing this for me. I'm doing it for my kids. I'm also doing it for your kids. Your kids are important and so are mine. We have children that live in this country that will not be free. And you will no longer be free either with this particular bill. The senators that are all here, you need to contact them. You need to do anything that you possibly can. I will pay, post links to on the bottom of this stuff for y'all to get this message out. This is very important, people. This time, we need to make a stand and make this go viral. This needs to go to everyone you know. This needs to go to everyone you know. I can't express this enough to y'all. This is very important. This that I'm showing you now is proof in the pudding that Obama is going to sign this bill. Do you understand? In the very back end of this, you're going to see some clips to some videos that I put in here, and you will see that this bill is going to be signed all the way. It's going to be law. And if it becomes law, people, and if we don't do anything about it, we, we, the people, the 99% have allowed our children, our children to be slaves. All of you people that are in your 50s and 60s year old, you need to get involved with this as well. You people need to get involved strongly as well. This is time that we, the people, show them that we are alive. We are not dead, we're not zombie TV suckwads, and we are proud of our country and we are going to fight for it. It's this time for us to fight back. You need to get up off your dead ass, grab them nuts, and let's go. Everyone needs to post something. I will try to make this where it will go. Uh, remix, remix mine. Take out the literature. Take out my words. Put your own words in it. I don't care. Get this message out to everybody you know. This stuff is important, folks. It's very, very important. We are going to be slaves if we don't get rid of this bill. This bill right here just is the signing of destroying our country 100%. It will destroy our country 100%. We will no longer be the United States. We'll be called the North American Union. People, we cannot go for that. Here's the bill again. You can actually read it again. People, please, God, let's get this going. There needs to be more people outraged about this. Don't just sit there and, and have a, a website or a YouTube channel that don't have anything on it but favorites. Upload mine if you can't you don't know how all you have to do is hit the remix button and put the name of it in the top. At least post it somewhere. Get it the word out. Keep this message on top of everybody's mind so the mainstream media will pick this up and start complaining to people so people will wake up. We need to get this going, folks. 
We need this to go out live. We don't need no more dictators. We've got enough. Much love to y'all. Heads up. God bless, and I hope you enjoy the rest of it that make you sick. No good and well that someday there could be a government in power that is shipping its citizens off for disagreements. There are laws on the books now that characterize who might be a terrorist. Someone missing fingers on their hands is a suspect, according to the Department of Justice. Someone who has guns, someone who has ammunition that is weatherproofed, someone who has more than seven days of food in their house can be considered a potential terrorist. If you are suspected by these activities, do you want to have the government have the ability to send you to Guantanamo Bay for indefinite detention? A suspect. We're not talking about someone who has been tried and found guilty. We're talking about someone suspected of activities. But some of the things that make you suspicious of terrorism are having food, having more than seven days of food, missing fingers on your hand, having ammunition, having weatherproofed ammunition, having several guns at your house. Is that enough? Are you willing to sacrifice your freedom for liberty? I would argue that we should strike these detainee provisions from this bill because we are giving up our liberty. We are giving up our the constitutional right to have due process before we're sent to a prison. This is very important. I think this is a constitutional liberty we should not look at and uh, blithely sign away to the executive power or to the military. So I would call for support of the amendment that will strike the provisions on keeping detainees indefinitely particularly the fact that we could now for the first time send American citizens to prisons abroad. I think that is a grave danger to our constitutional liberty and I advise a vote to strike these provisions from the bill. Under the provisions, would it be possible that an American citizen then could be declared an enemy combatant and sent to Guantanamo Bay and detained indefinitely? I think that as long as that uh, individual uh, no matter who they are, if they pose a threat to the security of the United States of America, should not be allowed to continue that threat. And I'm wondering whether the senator is familiar with the fact that the language, the language which precluded the application of Section 1031 to American citizens was in the bill that we originally approved in the Armed Services Committee and the administration asked us to remove the language which says that U.S. citizens and lawful residents would not be subject to this section. Is the senator familiar with the fact that it was the administration that asked us to remove the very language which we had in the bill which passed the committee and that we removed it at the request of the administration that would have said the app that this determination would not apply to U.S. citizens and lawful residents. I'm just wondering, is the senator familiar with the fact that it was the administration which asked us to remove the very language, the absence of which is now objected to by the senator from Illinois? I, I'm familiar now because the senator from Michigan has shared that fact with me. I'm okay, people, I hope that made y'all sick to your stomach, and I hope it made you feel proud to be an American right now proud to be an American because you're on your first step to becoming free again. And the only way to do that is to get the message out or end up in this box right here. God bless y'all and heads up and be safe.